Yes, sir. No, so I really want to talk to them. Oh. I prefer the female host, Black TV. Good next time. But, we'll, you know what, we'll just do it because we're here. Yeah. I appreciate your time. <laughs> How you doing, bro? What up, baby? How are you, man? This man, twice now. I know, man. It in, hey, I, I, man, I, I came out to work for this one because this movie, I feel, I feel no hate, special. no hate on Jordan Peele because I celebrate him too. But this is a creep. This is a, this is creepier than us, bro. This movie is creepy. Okay, I'll take that. I take it, it's pretty creepy. It's pretty De Dennis creepy. will get underneath your skin. Trust me, yeah. it is not. It's not a home invasion movie. It's not about stealing a laptop. This is much more sinister and dark than that, and I promise you, you will react. You will have a visceral reaction. We had a year of permit patties and all these other white people calling the police on black people for nominal things. Why would y'all just call the police on this white guy? Y'all scared to call the police? You know, it's funny because there was, there was a, a moment where he says, you know, look, if you call the police, they're like, you take them like, nine minutes to get here or something like that i don't know if that part made the movie but um but yeah there we're out there in the country which is not for everybody clearly my character of scott has no interest in living in the country yeah. and for this very reason you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. it's like who's going to hear you scream who's going to hear you cry if your alarm goes off who's going to hear it yeah you know and and how long does it take the police to get there so um I realize I'm not suited. I'm not suited for the country. Like I, I need, I need some people around me. I think Dion and Roxanne missed the mark. They, they should have had ADT or one of these alarm systems sponsor this movie. I mean, this would have been like they could have bankrolled the whole movie on, yeah. on getting an alarm on system. Getting an alarm system. <laughs> yeah. But again, but again, it's not a home invasion movie. It's yeah. and you know, most of the time he shows up. It's not. You know, he's, he seems totally nice about it, totally normal about it. He's not breaking into the house. He's bringing pizza. He, yeah, I mean, he's, <laughs> he's coming to help out. You know, he's coming to hang Christmas lights and stuff. So his, his approach to it is a lot more uh, uh, disturbing yeah. than, you know, just like somebody trying to break in your house. Last question. Sadly, last time we talked, we, we talked about Nipsey and his impact. And now here we are, a week and a half later, we got to talk about John Singleton. As a as a thespian, I mean, what, what's his? All these other actors who's made their mark from his films first. Like, how do you feel about just what we lost as a community, as an artistic community, with him being passing? We we definitely lost a visionary. We lost a voice, um, an LA voice. You know, I think for me, John was the first voice from LA. Kind of like Spike was the first voice from New York for me. John was the first voice from L.A. for me. And everybody that followed paid homage to John. And John showed me a whole different perspective in terms of growing up and what it was like to grow up here in Los Angeles. So I, I will forever be in debt to him. We were, I, was, I was blessed to be able to work with him, to learn from him, and... Um, you know, my, my prayers are out to his family because, you know, that's two L.A. legends in like a month or something, man. This is, this is terrible, man. This is terrible, you know. But, um, yeah, we, we just need to, we need to uplift them kids in prayer for sure. Yeah. Well, man, excellent movie. Everybody's going to be excited or creeped out by it. But, as always, you did a good job. I can't wait to see you on screen. Thank you, man. And at the after party. My man. <laughs> I'll be there. All right, bro. Take care. All right.